Hi everybody, this is Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers and I'm on board this really lovely Nordcat powerboat for a look around her bow area and her main helming area or cockpit in glorious virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? Well that means all you need to do is click and drag or swipe your screen around and you can look around whenever you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking. We hope that this really great feature will allow you to feel what it's like at home to be on board this boat without actually being here. How cool is that? Some people are a little bit sensitive to camera movement so when I'm going to move the camera I will let you know so you can avert your eyes and then when the camera is safely back down I'll let you know and you can come back to me and continue the tour together but let's hope that doesn't happen. So here we are we're sitting in this really lovely powerboat this particular one looks really nice and clean she's got nice blue cushions etc seems to have been really well looked after but let's take a look around shall we how am I feeling well I'm in the bow section of this uh, really quite special boat we've got uh, reasonable high combings here so I'm feeling a little bit protected from the elements if I'm at sea. We've got something to hold on to all the way down the port and starboard sides and also behind me. We'll look at that in a moment. So I'm feeling like no matter what the weather's like, no matter how erratic the driver, I'm feeling that I've got something to hold on to as well and I'm sitting reasonably deeply within the bow. And I am sitting, there's lots of seating here. We've got uh, almost all round seating here with just a, uh, an entrance companion way here. We've got nice cushions and there's room for several people to sit here and just enjoy the themselves in the sun or towards the water skiers from the back. Really, really nice. And if I just lift up this uh, starboard cushion here, we can see that underneath here we've got a uh, really nice sized um, cockpit locker here, so there's room for your life jackets, etc. And if I just drop that back down, that cupboard does, or the cockpit locker, just go all the way around underneath the camera and finishes off on this side here as well. So lots of stories for picnics, for uh, hampers, whatever you want to put in there, uh, really rather good. And hopefully it should be kept nice and dry in there too. Very nice. Behind the camera, uh, we've got a split in, the, uh, in the, the guard rails here, and you can see if I just lift the lid up here, we've got a small anchor locker there, so we've got the anchor in there and the anchor warp, etc. So that's all nice and out of the way and handy if we want it. But generally speaking, we've got a nice open plan feeling um, area here, which uh, you should be able to spend plenty of time in enjoying yourself at sea. And from this area, we can see we've got a really nice large screen here for the helm to be able to, to shelter behind but also look out for uh, uh, other traffic and his own water skiers etc etc so uh, really rather good but let's pick the camera up and we'll just walk aft down to the cockpit and I'm going to place you there to one side because there aren't many shelves to place you on here but uh, here we go really lovely sized cockpit and we'll start from the aft so if i just sit down on this seat here um, you can't see the seat very well from where you are but we've got a, a thwart ship's length seat nice cushions room for probably four people cosily but uh, three people definitely would be really nice and comfy here behind me we've got uh, this boat's fitted with an evin 150 engine so lots of speed we've got the uh, electric tilt trim etc behind me obviously we've got access to the engines and oh sorry the engine and port and starboard we've got two nice size outside cockpit lockers as well for all your uh, ski rope and all that kind of thing and there is a swim ladder as well so if you've got a water skier out the back we've got an easy way to recover them as well but just remember to keep that engine turned off when that's happening um, the cockpit itself as we come aft it feels nice and deep so we feel like we've got lots of protection here um, we've got a handhold here but we've got a really nice high combing here the um, the guardrails do stop as you come back here but you don't really feel like you need them when you're in here but when you are here as I mentioned we've got a handhold here we've got handholds here all around the um, all around the screen and also just uh, below where the camera sighted there too so feeling nice and secure in here now in front of me, we've got uh, two really comfy seats, as you can see, uh, well you can't, you, you can't see, uh, we can move them, turn them round as well, so uh, we can be facing aft watching the water skier, or we can be facing aft enjoying the company of the people who are sitting here, or eating or drinking with them, whatever it is you want to do. Um, down beneath me we've got drains, so we've got a self-draining cockpit, which is lovely twin stereo speakers and a nice stereo sighted just below where the uh, camera is we're just about to be attacked by a seagull I think but if I just move forward and sit in the nice helm seat that's feeling rather nice and cozy really good um, beneath us we've got a, a, a big binnacle here with a securing bar in front of it so we, in this case we've got spare fuel cans etc and we've got a, a, a 12 volt charger there too uh, all underneath this uh, really nicely laid out um, 
dashboard here. So what have we got here? Well, the camera is sitting on top of a small locker. In this case, we've got some cleaning bits and pieces in there, but, but you might want to put in your drinks, etc., or your valuables. We've got the grab rail here, just above the stereo, which you won't be able to see, in a sort of a splash-proof container there. So that's keeping the stereo relatively dry. We've got this Furuno navigation instrument here we've got the throttle the single throttle here with electric tilt trim as you'll see elsewhere in the uh, in the advert and we've got the ability to increase revolutions on this engine as well without actually engaging the prop so really great for testing etc etc we've got the kill cord now we also obviously recommend the use of kill cords in uh, any boats where there is a facility to, for them to be fitted but certainly in a boat like this is vital because if you get thrown out of the boat for some reason the boat will stop and won't come back to haunt you in the worst possible way. Nice wheel steering, feels good as well. We've got some switch gear down here for lights etc. We've got port and starboard nav lights and we've got a, a stern light as well, really great so people can see us. and. Uh, quite comprehensive comp uh, instrumentation for boats of this type as well. We've got the trim up and down gauge, we've got the engine tachometer warnings, the boat speedo and of course the battery voltage as well. So all in all feeling like a really nice cockpit here, really easy to get up forwards, we've got the nice seating up forwards, other side of this really nice big screen so lots of shelter, very comfortable seating in the cockpit which we can turn around, plenty of instrumentation and lots of guardrails etc to hang off in the uh, in the way in the way the wind and the waves and remember also we've got lockers forward and a locker aft as well and little stowages all over the place. So thanks for joining me on this tour hope you've learned something about this kind of boat and what she represents and uh, we hope to see you again in the future for more tours. Take care.